Hey guys, it's Captain Geek and welcome to a brand new series. Today is Thursday, which means it is Tutorial Thursday, which I just made up. But uh, yeah, Tutorial Thursday is a new series I will be starting. Sorry about that. A new series I will be starting today because it's Thursday. Yo, get it? Get the. Never mind. So, uh, yeah, welcome back. Um, today I will be doing Tutorial Thursday. Um, I will be using. It, the software paint.net it is completely free um i will leave a link to the download um it's actually it, the website is really shady but do not worry it does not consist of any viruses whatnot anyway let's get started um so once you get open paint.net it will look something like this if it doesn't then you're probably missing a few windows so what you need to do is go into view actually here is where you can see tools history colors and make sure you click on all of these do not click on settings because that opens up this and you do not need that right now but uh... yeah anyway you can click on it and change the color scheme and stuff so yeah anyway welcome back and today we are going to be learning how to make a logo if i have not said that before anyway let's start by resizing your image so you need to go to image resize and if you are new to all of this then you might want to look up tutorial um... but this will be fairly simple so what you want to do here is you go to the pixel size and width height so you want to change that to five hundred by five hundred so it'll be a perfect square we can work with um... now we as you can see we have all these tools we have text clone stamp pencil paintbrush magic wand gradient um, paint bucket you probably know what most of these do some of them you don't even i don't and i don't even use them so there's really no point but anyway what you want to do here is you want to go to the layers tab now the layers tab what it does is it basically it's basically all the layers you have in your picture so let's say if you're making a poster you have your character, you have your background, you have your text that says like Spider-Man or whatever, and then like uh, your villain in the background, those are all consisted of layers. So your background would be one layer, your villain would be one layer, your character, and then your text, Spooderman or whatever. So yeah, um, those are called layers. Um, so you will not see layers when you actually have a picture, but like when people design it, they use layers. So layers, um, you can use them by, so you start off in paint.net with a background. So what you want to do is a, you want to take your magic wand and you want to select and just left click. So what the magic wand tool does is it basically selects any color. So if we go here, and we make a actually let's go here and let's use paintbrush let's make the brush width a little longer like 35 and then like just draw something so now let's make the hardness all the way by the way so now we can go back to here back to our magic wand and as you can see it only selects the black and then it only selects the white but it does not select both so yeah you can change the tolerance level so the tolerance level is basically how much it can tolerate um... so it won't tolerate anything so it basically selects everything you do not want that you should leave it on the regular fifty i think it was fifty percent yes fifty percent tolerance is always the best if you have these kind of colors so yeah anyway let's delete this and delete this and that little line thing whatever let's delete actually let's just undo everything so you can undo crap by using control Z so you can just undo and as you can see in our history we have all this is what we done what we have done so you can just control Z and it is erasing everything that we have done so now once we get rid of that that's all we need so now we can select and delete so you can erase selection too so yeah once you've got that now we have a transparent background so there will be nothing behind it except your channel banner which we'll get into in later tutorial Thursdays but today let us start with um, let's add a new layer you can do it on the layers add new layer or a simpler way oops sorry about that a simpler way is just going to this and add new layer so now we have added a new layer so let's get our shape so 
let's go to our shapes tab shortcut e and there's shortcut keys too if you want to use those I usually just use this so anyway rectangle you can change the shape you have um, let's go with a X um, I went with a gear on my symbol but you can go with whatever you want um, let's go with um, hmm, let's see what we've got a hexagon a polygon we've got the basic shapes let's go with an X that looks pretty cool actually so once you got that you want to hold down shift so this keeps its shape so as you can see when we hold down X it does this as you can see so let's undo that and let's change the brush width back to what it's supposed to be there we go so now we can go here and now we've got the shape so as you can see the X is perfectly shaped and even if you mess around with it it will only go big and small and it will not distort the image but now if we do do this then as you can see it's getting distorted so you do not want that so let's just hold down shift and it automatically corrects everything so this looks to be about right and then you can use the magic wand tool and because there is only this part you can select in here and then let's use our paint bucket so this basically fills our selection so it fills whatever we have selected and now we will do this so now we have got this going on you can move it around but let's keep it here for now let's deselect and now we need to go into our object outline object and then as you can see let's make the color black first off and then we can make the radius really big or really small I I like to make it um, about this big looks about right and then yeah now we've got that little smooth smoother thicker outline after we've got this let's go to so after we've got this we will use something I like to call a sh drop shadow but we do not have a drop shadow without a plugin and plugins um, they, they can be filled with viruses sometimes I just used one um, which is outline object and there are a few other ones outline selection like that and then change everything like that but anyway let's go to so this is an outline object effect it can also form a drop shadow but for the purpose of this tutorial I will just be using one without um, a without a um, plugin because it'll be easier for both of us so let's select layer 2 control C, oops control C for copy and then add new layer let's send this behind it and control V so now it's pasted as you can see both of them have an X if we deselect this one if we deselect both of these now they will not be so deselect basically means the layer is still there but it's just not visible right now so no matter which one you choose let's layer 2 still has the X and layer 3 still has the X so if we have if we use layer 3 uh, let's go to our magic wand select all of the oops we're selected on the background and as you can see now um, we um, we're only selecting the back so that is not good so let's just go to layer 3 and then click on the white and now let's change the color to black so now this is all black and now let's change this back and deselect and now let's go to effects make sure you're selected on layer 3 effects Gaussian blur and what this does is blurs out the bottom layer and because it's all black it looks like a shadow so as you can see it looks like a nice crisp shadow so you can make a really large I do not recommend that because it looks really ugly um, this is about right it looks to be a perfect little drop shadow like it's a little bit above ground anyway now that we've got that let's add another layer and let's if you if you um, hold left you can move it around as well so let's just do this and then um, you can now is the time we add our text so we do this by using our T tool T stands for text of course very simple terminology here um, so you can select any font you want um, I used the action comics um, you guys can select whichever font you want um, we have never say die this is a good font too 
Um, so let's make it a little bigger. Uh, 108. That's not a little. That's a lot bigger. But you know, yeah. Anyway, so we'll put in our initials. So CG. So like, if you have a, a name of your channel, like for example, mine is Captain Geek, which would be CG. For Zodiac Designs, it would be ZD, even though it looks like 2D. But you know, that's always fine. CG. So uh, yeah. Um. Anyway, let's do that. Um. Let's just make it. Z D that looks like 2D so let's just make it let's say your name is hmm who should we use Captain Sparkles CS Captain Sparkles and then we could just move that into here and then we can make it a little bit bigger because it looks a little too small 216 is a little too big 192 also a little too big let's make it 160 that looks about right so yeah now we have this and we can just move it into here and now we have that little let's actually make it CG cuz why not but anyway yeah there we have the little X thing going on so now if we add another so let's control C this and then add new layer control V so now if we uncheck this we still have the other one under it and that's a good way of checking so now first off let's use the magic wand select these two uh, and make it let's see what color we can make this let's make it white for now you will see why I'm making it white uh, but anyway let's go to effects and repeat Gaussian blur so this makes it the same Gaussian blur we had before so now click it hmm that's weird doesn't look like it did the Gaussian blur why is it transparent? Oh, I see. Okay. So, just undo all of this. This was a mistake. This was a mistake. Okay, so now, let's deselect our selection. And now we can blur out everything here. So let's go to rectangle select. I mean, sorry. What am I doing? Uh, let's just go to effects. Repeat Gaussian Blur. And now we have that little thing going on, which looks pretty amazing. Um, after we do this, we can, if we really want to, add... So let's go to layer 5, and we could add a little outline. So we could go to Outline Object. Um, we could do that. We can make it really thin, really thick. We don't even need to have one if we really don't want to. You can click Cancel. But I like to have at least a little bit of an outline on mine so let's make it this big this looks to be about right so now we can go to our magic wand tool shift and select and now we have this going on so now as you can see it's selected so again let's use a new tool this time it's called gradient so if we go to more we, we have all these other colors I, I like to use a, a different shade of gray um, and then white so a really light shade of gray works best and you will see why I'm using this in a second so now if we sorry I should have undid this let's undo this so as you can see we have our selection and now we just click and everything is gray now we don't want everything to be gray we want it to be a bit of a gradient kind of look so uh, we can just do this and we can make it like a metallic fast and furious kind of look um we could invert the colors if we have it perfect like this and we could just invert it and then go like that this looks to be about right we could do that or you can make it radial so you can go here and just make it radial like that uh let's go with this one i really like this look and then yeah there we have that. Um, so I think this is pretty much it for the tutorial. If you guys have enjoyed, a like's always appreciated. So this is your new logo. So now if we would import it into our... Oh, I need... I forgot. I almost forgot. I almost forgot. I almost forgot. Oops, sorry about that. Um, anyway, let's go to File. Let's save as. So um, I like to save it under my file. So let's say um, tutorial logo. And you want to save one copy as a paint.net file so you can still edit it later. And then another file as a PNG. 
So PNG is a um I forget what it stands for. Uh portable network something. I don't know. It's network file or whatever. Anyway, uh yeah, you uh tutorial logo, you could just um you have to save one as PNG because um unfortunately YouTube doesn't support P PDN files and stuff like that. So uh yeah, that's pretty much it. If you guys have enjoyed and find this tutorial helpful, please do leave a like in the comment section below. A like in the comment section below. Can I talk today? Of course I can. Anyway, yeah. Thanks all for watching and uh, leave a like, comment, don't forget to subscribe and uh yeah, as always. This was a mistake. mistake.